Hello, everybody. Welcome to Journey to Recovery. My name is Dr. Hal Baumshin. I'm a clinical psychologist, a licensed drug and alcohol counselor, and a co-occurring disorder specialist. Today, I'm here with Kyle Olenkamp, and we're going to talk to you about the Journey to Recovery, uh, what we're doing, and uh, how it can be used with mental health counselors, and how it could also benefit those of you that work in chemical dependency treatment programs. Hey, Kyle, thanks for coming in today and uh, joining me on Zoom, so I really appreciate it. It's always a pleasure, Dr. Helm. It always is. It's a great, this is a great adventure. Yeah, we've been uh, working together for quite a little while. I'll just uh, tell our viewing audience my background. Yeah. Like I mentioned, I am a clinical psychologist, and I've been doing this for over 30 years. I spent most of my career doing uh, individual and group therapy sessions. And uh, while I was working in group mental health programs, I went back to graduate school and got another license uh, as a drug and alcohol counselor. I had a license as a clinical psychologist. Mm -hmm. And so I became dual licensed and I was running mental health programs and then I also uh, started running co-occurring disorder or chemical dependency treatment programs as well. During that time, Kyle, as you know, I started uh, writing or continued writing and using what I wrote in those treatment programs. And from, from those basic writings, we uh, developed a journey to recovery. I, I was looking for a way to show people what I was doing or to, to be able to share with them what I was writing and what I was doing. And uh, I think you and I met about five, six, seven years ago. Yeah. And I told you, hey, I'm doing all this writing. What, what could we do? And uh, you're the one who kind of brainstormed this uh, whole journey to recovery, what it would look like online. You want to say a little bit about that? Sure, I do. Uh, thanks, uh, Dr. Hal. Again, uh, it's, this is always an adventure. Like I said, we started out, as I recall, the vision that you had was an extension of the pamphlets and some of the resources that were literally – all, I mean, you had all over the office the, of, of your of the counseling center, right? You had a, created all of these for, uh, it had gone on for quite some time, it looked like, because it was already an impressive library of, of paper resources, you know? You remember that, of course. Right, and, and I also remember you saying, uh, what's paper? And I yeah. had to explain that to you. Yeah. <laughs> and you had to explain electronic mail to me, I think. <laughs> well, we took that. Yeah, yeah, we, that's right. We took the sense of, we took the paper and then, you know, it transformed it, I think, into something we can use uh, wherever we're at. And it, counselors can use it to client their clients. So, yes, yeah, so th that was huge. In the beginning, we, we were taking this and there wasn't a lot of stuff out there. One of the things I was intrigued about then, and I still am, is when you took this material and you, you know, started to form it, create it. How, how did it go in terms of introducing it and using it in the beginning? Were you using, the, you know, some, the, you were using the workbook, I believe, too, at that time, correct? Is that right. Uh, but just like you said, you know, I started out with uh, pamphlets and handouts and worksheets that I used uh, uh, with my own clients in individual sessions and then later in group uh, programs. And uh, then we created this wall of brochures and my other clinicians used them in our clinic. We put some of them online on our website so you could download those. Uh, when I started uh, doing an intensive outpatient treatment program in about 2005 or six, we, we, uh, I kept writing and kept designing and uh, we used them in a program called Bridges. By the time I met you, I had developed that resource into a book called uh, Journeys. And uh, that was sort of the foundational book of the four main books that I've written um, in Journey to Recovery. Yeah, Journeys. Yeah, you bet. So, so then you, you were using the workbook and, uh, and, and that was... How, how did you how did you decide to write? I've been really curious about this. Right before you contacted me and then we really got going, what what did you what were you thinking? You were using the workbook 
uh, at, at, at residential treatment, right? And it, it right. Was, you were seeing results. Uh, you were seeing some some things happening. I, I I know that. I remember that discussion about how you could take this and, and turn it into something uh, digital or online. You want to talk of, about that a little bit in the beginning? One, one of my clinicians uh, came to me and I said, hey, why don't you use the materials that I'm writing? And she said, my clients don't want to touch paper. I mean, mm -hmm. not, you know, not that they were phobic of paper, but basically she was saying uh, they're not very interested in reading. And it looks like school. And they, you know, many of them had dropped out of school or just weren't very interested or they had attention deficit disorder difficulties and trouble concentrating, focusing, trouble sitting still. Mm -hmm. And so with, with her saying that and my knowledge of my own clients, I really was interested in making the materials uh, interesting, easy to read, uh, using color, having pictures, graphics, that kind of thing, so that the clients could understand it, relate to it, and use it easily. Mm -hmm. And so that was uh, all part of that. And then when you came along and you wanted uh, to be involved and you were willing to help me, mm -hmm. uh, you know, we wanted something that was interesting, easy to use, easy to access online, and also uh, sustained interest and that kind of thing for our clients. So they could download it and use it, or clinicians would be able to download it and use it with their clients. So one of the things that I, 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 I totally believed at the time, I could see uh, the, the value of the of the workbook, and I was I was I was trying to get. We were we started out with the paper, a lot of the paper copies of the workbook before the before this uh, re online resource and curriculum really was was put up, and and that actually that went really well. How did you decide? I mean, you you also I think you really had a uh, put you pushed for the. the putting everything online and putting it all as on a subscription basis um, for five for now it's five dollars a month which is it was just an incredible deal it really is for all of these resources we were just talking there's over 500 of them now right they're they're uh, available maybe you could uh, talk us through what what is a subscription yeah. and what what is this site and what does yeah. that mean uh, take a look. Yeah, should take a look at my screen. We'll just yeah. have to look through that. So, for the counselors out there and and those who, who may be just being introduced, um, this this subscription basically covers the talk. Talk about how how you you, you the subscription as it is now uh, to counselors that are starting out in in treatment centers or or in uh, outpatient settings. To talk a little bit, and, and I'm gonna I'm gonna share my screen right here. I'll start with the, you know, the the big thing, Kyle, that we came up with was uh, sharing all of the resources with uh, somebody who needed to use them, and so we came up with have what you want, mm -hmm. use what you want, and find what you want, so that you you could really have access to all of the materials. Like we said, there's 500 different uh, worksheets, handouts, uh, graphics that uh, people can find on the website. So we were looking for a way to make that easy to find, easy to use, that you would have what you want, you could find what you want, and then uh, you could use what you want. What that means is you'd select one of these topics and be able to download it. If you needed uh, a group of 12 and you were gonna talk about um, changing the way you think or conquering a relational anxieties uh, and you could uh, pick a lesson, you could review it before you uh, downloaded it. And then if you chose to download it, it would in almost instantly be there. You'd print off the 12 copies. And if you needed more the next night uh, or the next day, no problem. Just print out as many copies as often as you want and all for the unbelievable low price of $5 a month. So Unbelievable. I know I'm not even close to halfway through here. I don't know if my hand can, can push up or can scroll up fast enough to get in, in one before I cramp up. <laughs> there's, so, there's so many here. I mean, right. this is amazing to me even now. Uh, having done I mean, I've been here for the whole ride, and I tell you what, 
it's amazing. Uh, I'm still, we're going and going. These, and, and like you said, these resources that are uh, all available uh, for, you know, under one, under one, you know, price point now, which is great. Um, and, and, and so if, if, if I'm a counselor and I'm, and I'm you know, I, I want to be more effective in terms of a, a really, a, you know, how it's going with my clients and I've got a, a treatment group possibly. Talk a little bit about that and, and guide us through, I don't know if you want to name a, name one of these to, to go kind of use or, or how you want to do it, but talk a little bit about how that would actually work in that, in, in a few different settings, if you would, because I well, think that's yeah. one thing that's valuable for, for those out there that are, you know, you know. Yeah, to your point, I think it's very valuable. I think it instantly increases your professionalism if you have uh, good resources. And uh, you and I believe that good treatment requires good resources. You, you've got to know what you're talking about and you got to be able to find it and give it to somebody at the right time uh, in order to help them therapeutically. So, these materials uh, give you what you need at your fingertips. So if you're uh, trying to help somebody change the way they think, or you're working with depression or anxiety, stress, burnout, you know, there'll be a topic for you to find uh, almost instantly. And hey, one of the things that I like best about the site, Kyle, is the search bar. Yeah, uh, up here, uh, yeah. Up on if the you, top right here, yeah. You know, if you type in burnout, uh, you're, you're going to get a couple of, of suggestions about where to go to print off yep. something uh, on burnout or burnout, yeah. any, <laughs> any one of a number of different topics. There you go. And, yeah. and I, think, I think that uh, topics like this really – uh, if you can target the right topic, you increase a client's engagement and their motivation. So mm -hmm. keep them interested, keep them motivated, find the right thing at the right time. Mm -hmm. If um, how how would you how would you recommend that uh, your resources be used best used now? Uh, I'm I'm a I'm a counselor at a at a, at a treatment center. I've got. Um, you know, three groups that I, that I uh, run. Can you give me an example of, of, of how these can be incorporated? Like, do, do they have to, um, do, you know, do they have to use them? Are they able to be customized uh, in, in, you know, for the different programs? How, how maybe we could just take one of these worksheets and kind of look at it and you could. Um, right. Well, I think one of the simple things that we've done is the the green ones, so to speak, are uh, targeted uh, co-occurring disorder, and they have more drug and alcohol language in it. Yep. And then the the yellow ones, and you've got a, I think you have a yellow one open. In I front do, of yeah, you. yeah. I'll switch um, back. Yeah. That's more of a mental health lesson, yep. and it and it uh, says that burnout and stress, a yep. mental health lesson yeah so you kind of know there's some green ones that you're showing on the yeah. screen now. Yeah, they are. Uh, yeah. those are co-occurring disorders cod lessons and uh, the, like you like you mentioned kyle the user the clinician can find all kinds of different applications here so mm -hmm. you could use them in a group as handouts and everybody would do the same lesson together and we would talk about it and discuss it there are uh, different questions and checklists and in, engaging parts of it, open-ended questions to get good discussions going. But you could hand it to your client uh, as homework and, um, and then review it when they came back with it to talk about whether they did it or didn't do it or, or how it went for them. And then also uh, during this time period, I, I've been doing a lot of counseling online in mm -hmm. Zoom, yeah, and yeah. so uh, I, I've done groups by Zoom and also individual sessions, and you can use this material, just to bring up one of these worksheets just like you're doing yep. and uh, talk through uh, different aspects of it um, and walk through it, ask yep. the question out loud and get a conversation going with your client. It's and really awesome, yes. Yeah. It's also, good. I it with uh, with parents and loved ones. So the 
the client is in one of my group therapy uh, groups and uh, we'll send something home for a spouse or for a child or one of their parents or a sibling so that they can be included in sort of the family aspects of treatment with their, their loved one. Yeah. Well, you cover so many bases too. And I've looked through all of these materials as we've, you know, gone and through them and, and they really do an amazing job of covering them. And, and, and I, I know that this question comes up, I know from the counseling end of it. So I, so I, I, again, I like how you address this, but you, you don't need to be, um, a, this isn't strictly 12 step. It's not strictly, uh, it's, it's very, it, it encompasses a very broad region of all, all the major groups of, of anxiety, depression, sure. gambling. And, um, and certainly that, that was my background, Kyle, you know, that I, I really wrote as a clinical psychologist looking at mental health disorders and trying to describe those. Uh, in a very user-friendly way. I use a uh, language I think that's understandable with a lot of, uh, of check boxes and, and describing symptoms and the way somebody might experience it and really trying to make it kind of easy to understand. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I, I write from a cognitive behavioral therapy perspective, which means uh, trying to change the way you think in order to change the way you act. Yeah. And certainly it, it certainly is, is, is helpful with all of the different areas and topics that you cover, like you said, from for co-occurring disorders and, and on the mental health side. And now lately, one of the things that's, that's really added, added to the site, and I think the excitement of, of a lot of the new subscribers that, I, that we've seen, are the PowerPoint presentations that you put yeah. together. Want to talk yeah. about those? Yeah, click on that and uh, yeah, we'll talk through that a little bit. Yeah. And uh, I think there are about 25 of them. Most of them follow the, uh, the uh, co-occurring disorder manual that I wrote called Journeys. And uh, if you have that manual in front of you and you click on the PowerPoint, this PowerPoint presentation would be something you could play in your group and it would uh, allow them to follow right through their, their lesson that's available online. And you're just reviewing the material through a PowerPoint presentation. Yeah, slide post, I would do that, yeah. Yeah, yeah so uh, I think most of them have uh, between 35 and 70 slides to them and uh, really walk you through. And I like pictures, so there's a picture. <laughs> They're all good. It's not just wordy, uh, <laughs> because that gets boring. That's right. That's right. You are the master at that. Of, of, the, of really bringing in. There we go. It's gonna. Can you see that? Okay, on yours. I got the uh, PowerPoint up. Uh, no, I I don't have that up. Oh, okay, one second. I want to share that. Uh, let's see. Yep, share that. Share. Here we go. There it is. And I've used uh, used these in treatment. Yep, just walk us through that. Uh, scroll down a little bit here, and uh, there's a chapter overview, so uh, we know what the chapter is going to be about. And again, this follows the workbook. There'll be uh, certain signs and symptoms, and these uh, lists really help clients because they can't always articulate very well what they're going through. And so uh, this is very helpful to just be able to walk through a symptom checklist. It also gives you some information to uh, talk about improvements over time. As they say, I no longer have these particular symptoms or this one is better or this one doesn't last as long or it's very rare for me to have any dizziness or restlessness now. So you can use it to track progress and talk through progress uh, that a client's making. It's so cool. It's like getting, it's like getting the, the master notes, you know, uh, of, the, of, the, of the expert that's like had done this and, and had success and, and, and helping, you know, people and helping your clients. And you you really have put it all out here. I mean, just as we're going through this one right now, I mean, I, I see where this would be. I'm, I'm in the, uh, and I, I, I got to confess, I, I mean, I've looked at the, 
PowerPoints as we put them up and things, but to go through it, you know, and, and hear how this would kind of play out. It's, it's, it's really, it's amazing that you do, would you put together with all of this? It and is if, amazing. If you've ever walked into a group uh, wondering like, what am I going to do tonight or with this afternoon with my group, I should have prepared better. Yeah. You know, you can grab something right out of the journey to recovery materials or grab a PowerPoint and you, you are an instant expert. Yeah. And that's, uh, you know, over 30 years of counseling experience, and we've rolled it into uh, making this system easy to use for you and just download what you need. And all, again, all for the unbelievably low price of $5 per month, which would give you all the resources uh, at, at your fingertips. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's really, a, it's all, all, all inclusive. So this is one, one monthly fee and, and you get everything. Um, including these new PowerPoint presentations, which really do an incredible job. They are, by the way, I, we, I don't know if I've really congratulated you about these, but these are really next level. This is this brings everything together. It's so cool. And you, yeah. t- tell me about that one more time. This, along with the the journey, they can use the journey, uh, the the instructional that that works with the PowerPoints. Right. So these uh, perfectly follow the lesson. So you would download a lesson, hand it out, yeah. and then you'd have the PowerPoint on the screen. And, uh, you know, the pic- the pictures uh, uh, on the screen here m- might be additions, but uh, all of the language would be the same. Yeah. So, so the PowerPoints the coordinate with the lessons that, yeah. are, that are in here, too. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Right. Uh, yeah. That's, that's very cool. And then and you can have, as a counselor, you can really have a lot of your, the, the, basically the time uh, that you spend. I, I, one of the complaints, I, I know this because of some of the research we did, one of the complaints a lot of the counselors um, out there are uh, challenges, we'll say. I know complaints, but that, that, that is present is, is, is getting to be able to have that structure for group topics and for group and and once you have the structure to have something to you know printable that's ready to go um and it that works uh, across all sorts of outpatient, outpatient programs residential um talk about the, the, a little bit about that specifically this the actual I, setting i just i wanted to interrupt and add yeah. that it's copyright compliant so you have our permission to use this with your clients Co- Copyright, copyright out of here. That's what we're talking about. Uh, and, it, you know, if you're paying the $5 subscription, you have our permission to use these materials. So you're not feeling like you're using it uh, without permission from the author and that kind of thing. And, yeah. and that's, that's important in our field. Uh, we, we say that, uh, you know, our, our field is big on, on trust and honesty. And yeah. here, here you're being up front and honest and it's not costing you more than a cup of coffee per month basically let's let's touch base on that one more time too because that is important so if i'm a counselor and and i I pay the five dollars a month and i have a treatment group with uh, 20 20 people in it and i and i see and i also have an additional counseling uh maybe i i have my people that are in treatment that i have to see say i see you know 35 40 People, can I, can I for five dollars? Am I allowed to use that with all of them then? Yeah, all of them. Yeah, they don't have and, to pay. Uh, each, they don't have to pay for each copy. And then they no, like all no. Of them. Yeah. We we do want each clinician to pay. So you know, we don't want yeah. you sending them to a therapist friend of yours in San Diego. Yeah. We we want that cl- clinician to buy their own. But yeah. no, for every client you have in and family members and, you know, people that you see individually and in group. Yep. All yeah. of that. 30, 30 clinicians in, 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 a, in a treatment center, each one. Yeah. Yeah, just $5. Just encourage, $5 yeah. encourage your colleagues to buy their own. You bet. That's cool. And that's, it's, I mean, Hey, you cannot, that's an, that is an unbelievable. It is an yeah. unbelievable deal. It is. Yeah. So, so you, um, You've seen some some of the success. Uh, I think from from Journey now, we've we've lately seen the subscriptions have, have really taken off, and things have really going good. What- yeah, we're seeing we're seeing people around the country and even across the globe of you know buying this online, and so that's really yeah. exciting. 
that we're, we're getting the message out there and, and helping people find the resources that they need. And again, uh, good treatment requires good resources, in my opinion. Hey, Kyle, can you show us uh, how, how to get involved? Like, what? what how, how do you get started? Where do you go on the yeah, Absolutely. So you go to the website, is journeytorecovery.com. And when you come on the website, the uh, on the front page, uh, and, and from any page, really, you can hit you can hit uh, to to look at the library and see what's what's on there. You can go there and do that. You can check out some of the topics as well on, up here on the top, or and and then you got the this is three hundred plus. And we we were just talking about that before. We really this is there's over five hundred resources in here now for mental mental health and the co-occurring disorders. Five dollars a month, and then you can get there uh, any any number of ways from this front screen, even the top of it. Just by clicking on uh, view details, you could do it here. Sign up. Once you get here, this is an all access membership. It's only five dollars a month. So once nice. you add this to the cart and you go through this process of of purchasing here, um, which I'll do now. It's got, it's got. I think I got one in my cart. So, but once you add it to your cart, um, you just go through. Uh, I'll hit hit here. I got my cart total, and I proceed to check out. And once I, I go ahead and do this, and I want to check out, then I have all access. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna buy it myself again because I, I think I, I think I have a, a, yeah, a I see couple, your name all the time. Couple, yeah. <laughs> so, but once I once I'm in, once I go ahead and do this screen here, then and I, I buy this for five dollars and thirty seven cents uh, per month, I can go now. I can go anywhere in this library here, um, or I can go on under my membership login. But what's different and what you'll see once you pay the five dollars a month is you can dial download any of these resources right from the uh, right from any screen that, that they're on uh, in the you don't have to go to the memory library, but you sure can and do it that way. But right. I and, but and instead of saying add to cart, it now says download yep. and you can download as many as you want. Uh, so uh, obviously this whole subscription this curriculum library works with your printer so we're not sending you books or materials uh you're printing them from the website yep or in powerpoints or downloaded yes in, in yeah, a, downloading in right and you wouldn't you wouldn't need to print but uh you know you can read them online and uh, use what you want and that kind of thing or you you know, probably the best way, the way I use them the most is to print them for my group and pass them out. Yep. So you would hit that uh, download button. And now you've got a copy here in PDF yep. that you can, like you said, you can print on your own printer. Um, you can, if you have, if you have Adobe, uh, if you have the Adobe uh, system to, or software, I'm sorry, you can open it up in Adobe and, and, and print um, it, you know, into the uh, actual worksheets too. If that's something that people want to do for homework and things like that. These, uh, these journals that you just opened one here have more open-ended questions. And uh, uh, this is not really my style so much. I think, you know, over the years, the, um, the uh, 35,000 clients that I've seen, 40,000 hours of therapy, I, I ran across kind of two major categories of clients. The, the first uh, client did a lot of work in the session. They would have aha moments. They would have a catharsis. They would understand something. So their, their therapeutic work really happened in the therapy session. Mm -hmm. Another group of people, they seemed like they would do the work outside of the session, come back a week or two later and tell you what they did. And uh, they would work through it outside and then report on it inside the session. And th this uh, journal uh, format is really helpful for people who do their work outside of the session. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, totally. It's, it's, it's not... So you're talking about the individual clients a lot of times then in, in maybe mental health? Yeah. 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 Or you, you could send this home uh, with your group clients and they would come back and report on it and tell you how that worked. Uh, they would answer the questions. Um, 
Yeah. Uh, give them an opportunity to kind of think through their own lives, tell their own story a little bit. Relapse prevention uh, is, is a big, uh, you know, catch. It's a, it's a big deal. And, and there's, there's uh, a lot of the, your materials work for aftercare and things like that, which I know traditionally in, in, in treatment has been something that's been difficult, I think, for, for consistency and, and, and sometimes, especially maybe when people have, have legal issues and they need to show things that, that they need yeah. to show their work too. And I know your, the, your materials are used a lot out there in, in terms of, you know, help, being able to help you, not just the accountability, but like you said, the clients to be able to do things to continue long-term recovery. Um, and, 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 and you said that, the, the journals, you know, they were kind of the, so then contrast that to say the, some of the e-lessons where you, I think it's what you're talking about. You basically, you will come in and you fill in a lot of the. Uh, right. right. Yeah. We, we, we give you a lot of checkbox choices, uh, that kind of thing. Yeah. As, and maybe it's a little easier for somebody to understand or grasp or come up with some ideas. Yep. So it's in here now. Yeah. There's a nice checkbox list. Okay. So many, many lessons are filled with these kinds of things. Yeah. And sometimes, Kyle, you know how this goes. You ask somebody, uh, well, you know, to name some things that they could do that might help them prevent relapse. And they can't think of one single oh, thing. Yeah. And we we yeah. give them a bunch of choices to kind of talk through, think through. This really makes everybody's, uh, you know, day easier at the end of it because, people that are that are in in, in treatment are, and are going through these transitions they they have this extra help too of, of hey you know here's here's some here's some options here's some ideas these are things that i mean obviously you've known and you went through this and did this so many times know these areas that are going to be needed to be highlighted um, right and and people in early recovery with the fog of, of everything it's harder so you're making life easier on that end these resources make life easier on the counselor's end of it too, because they they do put it all out. This is I, I always was amazed at the most the biggest thing I was amazed at with you is the amount of hard work you do. The amount of work that goes one of these, you know, one of these resources laid out the way that you have it. And I saw the whole process. I know there was how much was put into it. It's just amazing. And it, it just it's not something that any one counselor, I mean, obviously it's possible. But yeah. it, it's not very, I mean. But, but why, why reinvent yeah, it? You, know? you wouldn't need to, not, not uh, anymore. And I tell you, it's amazing. Did you, you, you know, I've said this before, one of my favorite quotes, writing is easy. All yeah. you do is stare at a blank sheet of paper until drops of blood form on your forehead. <laughs> it's and, amazing. Yes, yes. That's really true. Uh, you and I have worked hard uh, oh. to make something that's really helpful to a counselor. Yes, and this stuff is it's, it's great. These resources and, and the idea. You want to talk a little bit about this uh, in terms of using your resources uh, in, for the counselors. They're using these in different settings. That they're using them in, in a lot of the treatment centers will have um, certain types of materials that they that they yeah, look at is being 12, 12 step. Um, oh, okay. I, I believe. Can you talk a little bit about that? Because I know your materials are able to be used across all treatment settings and things like that. But right. I know that issue has come up in a few emails asking if it's if it's uh, um, able to be incorporated in 12 step programs and things like that. Right. Uh, right. I really think that cognitive behavioral therapy works w well with uh, 12 step. And I have some chapters that address 12 step, 12 step issues, but uh, I would say that my material is compatible with 12 step. You're not going to find uh, just constant 12 step language, but certainly we're, you know, we're not opposed to that. And these mental health, these yellow lessons that you're showing now, these mental health lessons, maybe would have less of that uh, co-occurring disorder or substance use disorder language, and it would have less 12-step language as well. But you'd, you'd find a little bit of it with the uh, co-occurring disorders, but you're going to find, uh, yeah, that's a good one, our philosophy of care. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, just uh, the way I think about how people change their lives and uh, how, how are we going to help them change. 
So again, uh, it's compatible with 12 steps, but it, I wouldn't say it's 12 steps based. Right. Yeah. I, I think one of the, a lot of the feedback that I have gotten, and there's been a ton of it over the years and, and, and it's, it's very useful and practical. I think pragmatic is a word that was used before uh, the, a friend of mine who, who's going through some of this uh, in, in, in a context of a treatment a setting was, was saying how, how it was useful. It's valuable <laughs> stuff that is, that is, it's, it's common sense, but it's, but it's, it's, some of it is delivered in ways that it really reinforces um, uh, a common sense is not what I'm going to say. It's, 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 it feels so, so easy and simple to, when I, when I go, I go through these worksheets and we were just looking through them, but at the same time, it's, it's so hard to, to, to lose there, to, to remember that this stuff's not out there in any other forms before these resources and before the way you've laid them out, there just wasn't anything really out there other than what, what was, you know, some, some older materials that were copied, you know, copied out of books. And they were right, copied. right. And we, we were looking for a way to help people remember it and to, you know, maximize the impact. And that's why we were always using these graphics and, uh, Hey, why don't, why don't you show us a couple graphics here and yeah. then I can talk about yeah, that. Yeah, kind of Appreciate it. Yeah. yeah. Looking at something that was colorful or yeah. easy to understand, uh, made sense to somebody. And uh, there, yeah. Um, or or uh, oh, maybe the Northeast Central Trades. Yeah, let me, uh, let me go, back, go back to the other screen okay. for a second, if yeah. you'll do that. Just right. go back a step. Yep. And um, designed with a purpose. Show me that one. Okay. There it is. Just went by it. There it is. Okay. Got it. That was yeah. that one. Yeah. And, you know, that's, that's what we were trying to do. We were trying to develop these materials that would, uh, you know, really be able to maximize the impact. Um, so easy to use and easy to understand, trying to establish mastery. But uh, these graphics, uh, they're, they're helpful to show you what we were trying to do, but they're also helpful for your clients. Uh, all of these uh, infographics will be useful for you in your treatment setting. There, there it was. Sorry. <laughs> I got it up there. I thought and you were, you were, I was you were talking that. about trying to help people remember it. So if, if we can improve retention, if you can get somebody to remember something, uh, now they can apply it. They can use it. But if you can't remember it, uh, you're not going to be able to apply it and use it. Mm -hmm. Yep. The, the, uh, the graphics are, are, are awesome the way that you've used a lot of the technologies and blended things together, you've done a podcast, you've done, you've done videos, the PowerPoint kind of incorporates all of it, the worksheet. This really is a, is, is an incredible undertaking. And uh, it's just, it's just, it's awesome. I, I've really I've seen the success of, of journey uh, to recovery. And I think this, the, and, and it has increased um, as we've seen over the last year, it has more than doubled um you know the the subscriber base and and the ongoing subscriptions keep going up and up each month. So it's really uh, I think you start to you, you want to talk about where where uh, where where you see you know this could go in another year or two. What's your vision? Are you going to add? What what are you looking to do now? Yeah, I'm always I'm always adding. I think what I'd like to do, Kyle, is to come back another time yeah. and uh, to show some specific uses for the journey to recovery, how it can really uh, boost your professional practice, uh, how you can uh, have these resources at your fingers, fingertips, and how that's really going to impact your client. So we're going to come back next time. Uh, if you want to drop us a line, you sure can uh, at uh, info at journey to recovery dot com. And uh, we'll look for you next time. Kyle, you have anything you want to say before we end? I don't. I don't think so. It was again. It was a pleasure, Doctor Hall. It's just great to talk about these resources you you've uh, created and, and and that are available now for five dollars a month.
Thank you, Kyle. Thanks a lot, Dr. Hall.